Hey guys, what's up? The Allison here. We're going to be bringing you guys an After Effects um, masking tutorial. Uh, I've already made one of these, but it feels like uh, the last one wasn't good enough, or I don't know, I just feel like I need to remake it. And uh, first off, I want to point out, like I said, I got a new monitor, and I have so much desktop space. It's awesome. Uh, really good quality, 1080p, you know. So let's go ahead and get started in this After Effects tutorial. Alright, so we're going to be going over some masking. So uh, let me sit down at the third. Now we have this clip right here. Uh, this is a. This is a um, part of a project I'm doing for someone, for the Razor team. And uh, so we have this clipper here. It's a cinematic. And I want I want to put text on this ca on this red couch. And uh, so I have this leaf going over for, for like the more of a cinem cinematic look and uh, feel to it. And I'm gonna have this uh, the text going from behind the couch or from the it's gonna be behind the leaf on the couch. And so we're gonna be 3D 3D tracking it and masking it. So we're, it's like a two in one tutorial. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so take this clip and take our cinematic and pre-compose it. Uh, just call it Sin 3. Now, there, there's two reasons why we have to pre-compose it. Uh, one, it won't analyze it if it's not 100% scale. Uh, and the reason you change the scale is because, you know, the spectating and the uh, uh, chase button things on the screen when you spectate in Modern Warfare 2. So let's go ahead and cut down uh, to what we want of the clip, which is right about here. So Alt, Begin Bracket, and then pick where we want it to end. So, you know, is it nothing too long, something like this. Uh, make sure it's long enough though. And then, so bring our course over here, Begin Bracket. Uh, hold shift uh, to the end of the clip so it sticks click in right click on this thing and click trim comp to work area now we have this thing go to effect perspective 3d camera tracker now it's going to be tracking now I'll cut to whenever it's done actually click cancel first um, since this scene uh, I've already analyzed it before it's not got it's, it's not good uh, for tracking so we're gonna hit detailed analysis right here you can do this too if your scene doesn't become uh, be very uh, nicely tracked uh, whenever you're doing this so if it doesn't work just click the detailed analysis it does take long but uh, you know it makes it easier to uh, track that text to that couch so I'll get back to you guys after it's done Okay guys, well uh, it's done uh, doing its thing, camera tracking it. Uh, took, a took a few minutes, so I just watched some YouTube videos while I did it. And then so, if we, if we click on the effect, you, we could see all these different dots. Uh, and you could see the, like, the targets coming up. And that's what the plane would look like if we uh, selected those dots uh, for our text. So let's move along here and try and find some... That looks okay for our uh, our text. So if you click and drag, uh, you can select a few like this. That is a really bad one. It's kind of glitching out whenever I do it. Uh. But this one, no, that's not. No, that's bad. Just try and find, you know, try and find some dots that'll th this one seems pretty good some dots that'll like, as you can see I'm drawing the target and it looks like it's on the back of the on the back of the couch so we just right click on it and click create text and camera and as you can see we have the text right here and if we press R on the text in the timeline we can change its orientation to where it looks like it's uh, about the same, like actually on the couch. Turn turn its uh, the uh, size of it down, and then type in whatever you want to type in. Uh, for me, it's gonna be razor reflect space in, 
and then we can bring this up. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I can definitely do another tutorial on uh, editing text because quietly I'm quite good at it. Frankly, I'm quite good good at it. I'm kind of twisting my words right now, but uh, that looks that looks about the good size. Bring this up right there. Bring the text a little bit down, and we're pretty good. And so, as we can see, it is actually quite nicely tracked. So now for the masking part. We're going to need to duplicate our cinematic, so Control D or Command D for the Mac. Uh, kind of lags for a second. Alright, here we go. Now drag it up to the top. To the top of the whole thing. As you can see, our text disappeared. So, we're going to be cl uh, click on the top cinematic. Get the pen tool. It's at the top here, or just click G. And zoom in. And you can hold down H to drag it around like this and then let it go and then it go back it goes back to the pen tool and then so just drag or just uh, trace around the leaf or whatever you're trying to mask out whatever you're trying to have you know the text behind uh, for me uh, the leaf is out of focus so it's blurry so I will show you guys how to deal with that uh, when we get there so we don't need to do the whole leaf, just uh, just that. Now, as you can see, the text, like if we put it on full right here, the text just cuts out abrupt, abruptly, abruptly. Um, so to change that, just click M M on the cinematic. That brings up the masks, the masks um settings. And we can see mask feather. Now turn that up till it seems all right. Uh, right there seems pretty good for me about 10 pixels and so if we move um so uh, after we got that done uh th that's only if you're masking whatever you're masking around it has feather on it like mine or out of focus so now that we got th that done uh our mask stays still but our leaf moves or the thing we're cropping up moves so we're going to need to press mm on the top layer again and click on the stopwatch for mask path and then go forward a few seconds or so and drag this over you can hold down shift so where it can o it only goes uh, side to side uh, try and get it as good as possible it's, it doesn't really need to be perfect perfect and then move it along some more hold shift down bring it over some more and then as you can see it's kind of changing uh, if it is then you can just click on click on this and then move these points around do it how you do So it's forming to it. Right here we might want to kind of bring it down a little. Uh, I'm just probably not going to try and not do it too detailed right now. Right now. So uh, almost done. That's not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. Okay, here we go. No? Okay. Uh, that is not supposed to happen either. What is going on? Okay. Alright, there we go. Hold down shift. And there we go. Uh, it's tracked. And it is behind the leaf. The text is behind the leaf. Now the re razor reflex might look a little bit out of place. So, just to add that, you know, special touch, type in noise, bring in noise on the text. Bring it up about seven, not seven, about six or five, should be good. Press T on the text, bring down the opacity. At this point, I'm pretty much playing around. 
but uh, that's a, just a, that's just another masking tutorial for you guys. Um, and uh, if you have a request for After Effects, After Effects tutorial, then tell me below, and I will uh, definitely do it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something about masking, and see you guys in the next video.